What's up? This is uh, Tyler here. I'm just doing an update where I've been for the last year. I've just been super busy with work and uh, uh, recording this new album. It should should be out in uh, next month sometime. I only have about three songs left. And, uh, yeah. It's called uh, Bad Luck Nights and Hometown Lights. Eh, eh. It's going to be really cool. Um, got a new recording program. And actual, I got uh, Mixcraft, and then on top of that, my uh, best friend has been helping me mix and re record, and uh, so uh, my songs are going to come out more professional, and kind of, but at the same time, have that cool uh, DIY feel to it, so it's me cool. And uh, what else? For the last year, I've been going to um, a lot of shows here in my hometown in Grand Junction, and um Getting into a lot of new artists, um, a lot of outlaw artists like Jackson Taylor and the Sinners. I saw him twice and actually uh, got his autograph and got a few pictures with him and uh, got to know him a little bit. The first time I saw him, I wore my uh, Social Distortion shirt and he's like, hey, man, I, used, I used to play with them. They're my favorite band. And um, they actually went up and did a uh, honky tonk version of uh, Ball and Chain. And um, super cool. He's one of my favorite artists right now. Um, who else? Last month, I saw Jay Jackson again. She played in uh, Ridgeway, Colorado, which was super humbling. She was uh, one of my favorite artists of all time, one of, probably my favorite female artist. And uh, I remember being right in front of the stage when she was playing, and she saw me singing every word and went down and gave me her pick. And afterwards, she's like, I remember you from the Salt Lake show. How you doing? And uh, come have a, she's like, come have a beer with me and my band. So I got to hang out with her and her band again and uh, talk music. And it was super cool, her uh guitarist is uh, Julian Ness, Mike Ness's son from Social Distortion. I just shook his hand and said, I'm so humble. Your dad's my hero. And it was such an honor to meet him. And then uh, I think a couple weeks ago, I saw Teenage Bottle Rocket here in Grand Junction. And that was a super cool show. Um, really packed. And, uh, the great punk show. I, the only song I really knew by him was Skate or Die. But um, they're a great band, and I recommend them. Then uh, in January... I saw, um, I saw Blackfoot Gypsies, and um, that was, they're a great band. I, I recommend them. And then, yeah, here they are right here, Blackfoot Gypsies. If you haven't ch heard them, check them out. They're kind of an old school. They feel like come a seventies, not kind of a seventies, uh, like Leonard Skinner type band. Really cool boogie band. And then. Uh, band that played after him was a band from here in Colorado called the Yoppers and I don't even know how to describe the Yoppers they're like punk rock um, bluegrass country folk all in one and they're one of the best bands I've seen live um, who else I, I think the, those are the big ones I went to um, and uh, last May I saw Less Than Jake twice in Salt Lake at the Depot with my brother-in-law. And then uh, they actually came here to Grand Junction, so I saw them twice in a row. And that that was amazing. My, I went to the, the Salt Lake show with my brother-in-law, and he's seen them two or three times. And that was an honor to see him with him. He's the one that got me into Less Than Jake and Scott Music. And um, it was an awesome time. And then uh, I also went to Punk Rock Bowling 2018 last year and saw... Um, GBH, L7, Suicidal Tendencies, and The Kicker, Rise Against. I've been listening to them since high school and uh, probably got in the best freaking circle pit in my life and just m met different punks around the world. And uh, it was probably one of the most humbling times of my life and went down and stayed with my buddy Michael and his wife and super humble about that. And then uh, I'm actually going this year on Saturday to see The Damned, The Casualties, Black Flag, Actually, flag because Henry Rollins is gone, and the best is gonna be Rancid. It's me amazing to see Rancid again, or um, for the first time. I've never, I've never seen them live. I've heard they put on one of the best punk shows of all time, so I can't wait for that. That's next month, and um, yeah. And then in c this coming June, I'm gonna go see Casey Musgraves at the Telegraph Bluegrass Fest. So it's me cool. And then uh, yeah. Why I'm talking about punk rock a little bit, I'm going to show off. Everybody has their stories on their DIY punk fest, so I just actually got my vest finished. 
So this is my my DIY punk fest. So, so I'm gonna pretty much go in detail. This side right here is all bands I've seen live. Right here is uh, Lesson Jake. I got this at when I saw him in Salt Lake and uh, Green Day. I saw them at the M at the MGM a couple years ago in Vegas. And that was I cried during that show. Then right here is a punk rock bowling pin from last year. And this is a punk rock convert all star pin that says fuck you on it. Then right here is a social social distortion patch that I got when I saw them in Salt Lake. The I wanted to get get one when I saw them in Vegas the first time, but they're all sold out. Right here is Cashed Out, a uh, Johnny Cash cover band that I saw here right when I first moved back. And then right here is a Whiskey Myers patch. I saw them a couple of years ago here in Grand Junction. Right here is a um, Mi Misfits pin. And I actually saw Doyle um, from the Misfits about a year ago. I mean, it's not the same as the Misfits themselves, but it was pretty cool. Then the other side is just bands I've... I'm a huge fan of or love to see. Um, and then right here, ACDC with Highway to Hell, probably. They were probably my favorite non-punk, just my favorite rock band, my favorite non-punk band, especially with Highway to Hell, one of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, Blondie, of course. Right here is a Tupac pin, because I'm really into Tupac right now and old school hip-hop. Then uh, an old school uh, 1080s campaign pin, because Kennedy was the best president we ever had. Then uh, I'm really excited about this one because I mean it's your rancid. So here's an uh, Operation Ivy patch, a rancid patch, and a Saints and Sinners patch. I don't think I've ever actually heard the band Saints and Sinners, but I like the patch I got from a uh, DIY online store called uh, Angry Young and Poor. I check them out. If you want uh, patches, pins, anything punk merchandise, check them out. Then right here on the back, I got a um, Colorado flag because that's where I'm from. And then uh, a still breathing patch that I uh, met this uh, really this punk girl on Instagram and she make, makes patches and DIY stuff and she's really into Green Day and uh, the song Still Breathing um, means a lot to me um, ever since I lost my job and I had moved home didn't really know what to do that song really meant a lot to me and uh, when I saw Green Day play in Vegas like my heart dropped and I was about to cry and right here is a uh, Triple Play Records they're actually the local record store here in Grand Junction. And then uh, below it is my main patch. I've had this patch on the back of this vest since I started putting it together. It is uh, Janis Joplin. Pretty much this originally was a, a t-shirt I had. I wore, I got it when I was a senior high school. Wore the hell out of it. I loved it. And then it just got dirty and ratty and shitty. So I just cut it out and uh, pretty much put it on the back of this. And then I actually have a J, J Jackson signature the first time I met her. Right up here. Then uh, right on the bottom is... Uh, Scott signature from uh, Scott from Local H when I saw him play here in Grand Junction. Then the other patch I got is a really cool patch that I got online off of Amazon. And that pretty much it's uh, right here that says the most the most dangerous weapon isn't a gun. The most dangerous weapon is a uh, government controlled media, and I'm very about thinking for yourself, and not being a sheep, and not being controlled and Pretty much doing stuff on your own. Then uh, the last, I wrote um, Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die because I'm a huge Hunter Thompson fan and I love the whole uh, gonzo journalism thing and uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. It's one of my favorite books and one of my Johnny Depp's best movies. So yeah, this is, uh, it's all ready for punk rock bowling this year. It's all uh, studded out. I put some studs and um, stars and different pins and right here I got a social distortion pin of course. It's my favorite band. Then uh, Ramones pin. And most of these pins I got f from uh, the record store and I lived in Cedar City. So, yeah. Then right here I did the most punk rock thing of all. Took a uh, old uh, PBR lid and pretty much stuck a pin in it. So, yeah. And, yeah. Today was the uh, first day of the 2019 M, uh, NFL draft and uh, my Broncos just picked up a uh, tight end from Iowa so let's see how he does um, for some damn reason Denver traded up with Pittsburgh and uh, pretty much got the 20th pick instead of the 10th but 
we'll see what happens. Hopefully this is a good year. I'm not a fan of Joe Flacco at all. I'd rather keep Keenum, rather, rather keep Simeon, but we'll, we'll see what happens. And yeah, pretty much same old, same old. Besides that, just work and uh, just try to go uh, turkey hunting this week, but there's so much damn snow up on Glade Park in the Grand Mesa here in Grand Junction that it's just not even fun anymore. But uh, been hunting, been doing that, and playing frisbee golf, and uh, pretty much mixing music. So um, yeah, yeah. And my the Nuggets lost, so I'm pretty pissed off that it's gonna go into Game Seven. But we'll see what happens. And this is uh, Tyler Drayton. Peace and love. God bless.